we just got on the coin. And we just got to take profit. We got 60% on this one. Let's go. We're in a coin again. And we just got to take profit again. We got 25% this time. And we just got into this coin. And we got to take profit again. Third one in a row. Let's go. Welcome back to another video, guys. All those trades you just witnessed were done by our bot. It's called Packet Tracker. If you're brand new and you have no idea about this bot, be sure to join our official Packet Tracker Telegram group. We are launching in 11 days on June 20th as well. We will be hosting a giveaway on our X account, giving five lucky members full access to the bot for free for a whole month. Both links will be down below for you. What you're witnessing right now is the chain wall tracker putting copy trades for us. It's following the main wallets transfers to various other wallets. And it looks something like this in real time. And I'll explain to you exactly how this works. This is what I like to call a main wallet. This wallet is the mother wallet. It sends transfers out to many different wallets. And some of those wallets make coins and those coins temporarily fly. Right here, 15 seconds ago, we see this main wallet transfer over here to this wallet. And then this wallet made a transfer to this wallet. And it goes on about six times until it gets to the final wallet, which ends up making a coin. And doing this manually is pretty tedious task, I would say. We can see the funds are in this wallet right now. And we are currently about to copy trade it in real time right now. We can see the bot is doing its job and we are copy trading the sixth wallet. If I resume all, let's see what happens in this trade here. We're about to get into one for sure. Go to trade. And we got our take profit. And this one flew, guys. We didn't get our 25% for this one. But we did end up hitting this trade that we just witnessed me get into with the bot. Heading back to TradeWiz, we can see this is the final wallet the bot placed a copy trade on. And this wallet ended up making a coin, which we just sniped, which was called Cat Nana. Heads up, guys. Our bot only works with TradeWiz. You're going to need to familiarize yourselves with TradeWiz in order to use our bot. I'll leave the official link down below for you. I also did make a full tutorial on how to use TradeWiz. I'll leave the link down below as well. You can watch it after you finish this video. I just got access today to Packer Tracker's chain wallet tracker feature and started using it right away. These are all the trades we were in today. I was doing 0.1 buys to start off to test out the bot. We can see we're currently up $33. Clearly this bot works guys, but how do we use it? This is what Packer Tracker looks like over here on the console tab. You'll be able to start and stop the bot. You can also delete all the wallets you're currently copy trading on TradeWiz by clicking here which is pretty nice so you don't have to manually do it. Heading over to settings, here's where you'll set up your minimum USD and maximum USD amounts. What this means is, for example, the wallet we were just tracking, this one, what he does, and I'll show you so it makes more sense, transfers out various amounts to many different wallets before launching a coin. As you can see here, 201, 201, 92, but only the transfer of 450 or more, This these ones right here, this is the one that's going to go and make the coin. If you follow the trail and go to the final wallet, that wallet's the one that's going to launch a coin. That's why I put mine between 450 here and 500 here, because as you can see, the value here is between 450 and 500. So by setting our parameters this way, we're only going to be sniping the wallet that makes the coin, and we're not going to be sniping these other wallets he transfers to that he uses to bundle up his own coins. Next, you can set your transaction limit. By default, it's set to five. What this means is, when this wallet transfers money out, how many transactions do you want Packet Tracker to scan? I know it's only going to be one transfer out of 479. I just left it at five. I could have put it to one. It would have still worked. This will come in handy for other strategies. Here's where you put the wallet. You can add as well. So for example, let's say I found another main wallet that's performing really well and I want to do both. I can do that. I can add up to five which is really nice. How do we find these really good devs and take advantage of Packer's chain wallet tracker? In my previous video showing you guys how you can use the single wallet tracker to scan exchanges and snipe a lot of these coins, because a lot of these coins come from exchanges, guys, and there's no way for you to know. That's where we made the single wallet tracker. The chain wallet tracker is very similar, except you have to find these devs yourself, and I'll show you how to do it. Go to filters here on new pairs. Just go to metrics and we see volume. 
put 10,000 minimum and put maximum market cap 5,000. The reason we're doing this is we're trying to see coins that ran a little bit and then died. And there's a coin here called DGENs. If we take a look, the developer has only made one coin. Take a ruler here, put next candlestick. You can see in six seconds, this thing mooned. You could have made almost a three X here. And this didn't come from an exchange. And this guy made two more other coins. He made this coin here. If you got in somewhere here or even here, let's play it safe. You could have at least gotten 70% in three seconds. And as well, he made this coin where if you bought it right here and sniped it, you would have made 40% in three seconds. Heading back to the very first coin, where did the money come from? We got to find the dev, which is this. This is the devs wallet right here. DMK, I have them opened up right here for us. If we go to transfers and then Solana and we go to the very last page where the money came from, it didn't come from an exchange. It came from another wallet who also made a coin. I opened up this wallet on a new tab right here. And if we go to DeFi activities, I'll show you he made this coin called BH three hours ago. And that's the coin that we we're looking at here. And where did he get his money from? Go back to Solana, go to the very last page. He also got his money from another wallet that made a coin, which was this coin here. And I opened them up here for us. He also named it BH, different BH, same name, different coin. He also got his money from another wallet. And I didn't even open up this wallet. We'll do it together. It's called HODL. We'll see how this coin performed. And this one also flew. Let's take a look how quickly we would have made our money here. Snipe right here. And again, in two seconds, you would have made 30. In five seconds, you would have made 90%. This is a good dev. Heading back to our original wallet here, we can see that the money's still sitting in his account. This is the wallet we found through this coin right here. And what does he do usually? He usually transfers a value of 117. Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's a little more. You see here, he transferred 117. Here did a bit less, 113. We know the range between 110 and 120, but we can say that. What do we do next? We know he didn't transfer any money out. And when he does transfer, what does he do? He makes coins. You can go ahead and copy this address, go over and paste it. Here we can change our parameters. In the future, guys, we're going to have this minimum and maximum USD for each slot. So you can have different strategies. For this guy, you know the strategy is 450 to 500. For this guy, we can even do 100 and 140 to be safe. Maybe you might transfer more. And then we click save configuration. And we can go to the start here. And we start up the bot. And now it has both of them in place. Next, you're going to need to do some research on how to properly get into his coins. And I'll show you how to do it. We'll use all three examples here. So DGENs, you want to open it up on Photon. You can do it on Axiom as well. It's just cleaner on Photon. And you want to see how high it went, where you can get in, what slippage to use. I'll show you how to do that. So it's a bit cleaner. We can see here in the very first second, all of these transactions came in about $500 worth. You would have gotten in right here. You would have gotten in at the next candlestick. We know that for sure. We take our ruler here. We go from the bottom. We can see we need at least 30% slippage to get in. We can also see that we need to set a maximum market cap of 6K. So that's what we see for this coin. Now for the second coin, we can take a look on the second candle bar. We need at least 7K maximum market cap to get in. We know that already. On Photon here, we can take a look in the very first second. There was a couple of big buys that came in around $900 worth of buys came in for a second. We would have gotten in here somewhere. If we take a look, take a ruler out, we will go from the very bottom. We would at least need 70% slippage for this coin to get in. And we know we need maximum 7K market cap. Now taking a look at the third coin, I have them opened up on Photon as well. We can see this one was the nicest out of all three of them. At the very first second, only three buys came in. We would have gotten in right here somewhere. And we would have gotten in at the second candlestick. The slippage needed would have been like less than 20% for this to get in. That's how little slippage we would have needed for this one. And max market cap 5k. We would have gotten in here somewhere and made really great profit. Knowing this information and knowing this coin is the one where we needed a lot, we would have to set our settings up accordingly. Heading back to TradeWiz, you need to set up your copy trade settings. You can create presets here, like I did, and you have to name it saved settings or the bot won't read it. When we open it up, I just put my phantom wallet here. Just use a wallet that's inactive. You can use your own phantom wallet. 
tag, that's the name, make sure it's named saved settings or the bot will not be able to read it and copy it. Next, I am going to risk 0.25 for this guy. We know that we need to set a market cap of maximum 7,000 because from, from our research, and we know we need to set our slippage to 70. It doesn't mean we're going to hit 70, but we know this. Next, fees. I'm okay with this. Maybe I'll make it a little bit faster because it's a bigger buy. We'll do that. And we go to our auto trade. This is very important as well. When we take a look at the trades again, we got in here. And I want to sell here, for example, like at 50%. So I'm going to, I'm going to set my take profit at 40% and it's going to trigger here. Here, we would have gotten in right over here. And again, if I set my take profit at 40%, we would have sold for higher somewhere here, probably like between 50 and 60%. Here as well, this one would have been pretty crazy. We would have gotten in right here. And if I set my take profit at 40%, it would have triggered right at the top of this candlestick. And then we would have sold at the next candlestick right here somewhere. And we would have probably gotten like 60, 70% on this one. Knowing this information, I'm going to put my take profit at 40%, sell 100%, but I'm going to expect higher returns, probably between 50 to 70% because we did our homework here and I want to play it safe. For stop loss, I'm just going to leave it at negative 15%. None of these coins had any drawdown when they shot up. All of them just went straight up. Your stop loss would not have been hit in these three trades at least. And go back now to our copy trade settings and make sure everything's good. Our buy amount, the name, max market cap, slippage and our auto sell once you're happy click create now all you have to do is wait for this wall to make a transfer the chain wall tracker will detect this place a copy trade in the new wallet and snipe the coin for you we can see here he's not that active in terms of making coins the last coin he made was 53 minutes ago the one before that was three hours ago the one before that was three hours ago as well doing this manually is really hard especially if you're tracking more than one wallet with the chain wall tracker, you can put in up to five wallets at the moment and let it do the sniping for you. Quick update, we did end up sniping that dev we've been tracking this whole video. We got this trade here. His wallet is right over here. He ended up transferring money out 49 minutes ago to this wallet that ended up launching a coin called Groceries. We ended up sniping it right here and our take profit was nearly perfect for this trade. We sold at the very top. We got 47%. And guys, the beautiful thing about our bot is, let's say you still like this dev and you want to continue sniping him. Perfect. You don't need to change anything. The bot knows now to scan this wallet. And if this wallet makes a transfer, the bot will repeat the process and snipe him again. There are so many ways for you to find these devs. Not just that one way I showed you under new pairs and filters. There are various ways. I will be live streaming this bot almost every single day up until launch. If you never want to miss another video or stream, Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel with the ring notification bell on. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.